Catmoral for Susceptible to Images and Third Coast Digest. Last week was quite busy on the Milwaukee art scene, but wait, there's more. Yes, indeed, this weekend is chock full of events. If you missed some of the previous action, TCD's got you covered with their gallery night slideshow, plus a video of the Art Milwaukee wedding celebration at the Pfister Hotel. Art Milwaukee also has a hand in upcoming festivities, but more on that in a minute with weekend art date. First in this edition of STI, we caught up with the artist Charles Metzenloom for a chat on his very contemporary installation inspired by prehistoric French caves. Great to have you here, and we're at Walker's Point Center for the Arts with your new installation. And, well, um, first of all, would you like to introduce us to the installation? Sure. Uh, the piece uh, is based on uh, a cave painting that I saw 16 years ago. And um, when I first visited the space, one of the things that um, I thought about, there were a couple things actually that I thought about. One is that the opening coincided with my 16th wedding anniversary. And also, um, the, the piece made me think about the cave, this being like somewhat like a cave. And so those two things coming together um, started to evoke ideas about um, what that cave was like. And um, some of the things that even 16 years later, I'm thinking about. Yeah, and I was thinking about that, that it must have been such a powerful experience. It's been 16 years, and this idea is stuff with you. Um, what's especially interesting about this, I think, as well, are the materials. Um, the material on the floor and on the ceiling. Uh, so, yeah, you'd like to, to yeah. talk to this so, um, so, there's this dotted line that goes around the, the gallery, and um, that was one of the things that was on the cave painting. There was a dotted line that was on the like this, but um, the archaeologist and the poet that led us um, to the space basically hypothesized that the dotted line um, was a symbol for things being above the dotted line or alive and the things beneath it were dead. And um, so why not think about this notion of what might be alive and what might be dead as maybe translating that to also thinking about things that are virtual and things that are real. And uh, much of our time is spent in the virtual world now. And so the, the mere about that time, the weekend I mean, and I promised you some pretty nifty stuff for this week's weekend art date. Here it is. Art Milwaukee is on the scene again, this time in collaboration with New Walkie, Gathering Waters, and Friends of Lakeshore State Park for the second annual Urban Island Beach Party, this Friday, August 3rd, from noon to 10 p.m. Indeed, 10 hours of outdoor fun featuring plenty of live music, food, hula dancing, a limbo contest, and I quote, dangerous lawn games. Yes, bring on the charts. For more info plus a schedule of events, check out www.urbanislandparty.com and bring yourself down to Lakeshore State Park just off the east coast of Summerfest for a rollicking time. On Saturday we have another big collaborative event, this one a benefit for the artists affected by the July 17th fire in River West. 
taking place from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Sweetwater Organics. There will be art auctions as well as music. And in between sets, uh, live auctions taking place, emceed by WMSE's illustrious Tom Crawford. Sweetwater is located at 2151 South Robinson Avenue in Bayview. Plus, there's an after party to be held at Tonic Tavern, 2335 South Kniknik, also in the very happening Bayview. 25% of sales at Tonic will go to the benefit. Sunday, August 5th, is the last day to see face jugs, art and ritual in 17th century South Carolina at the Milwaukee Art Museum. So if you haven't seen it, you may want to mark your calendar and stop by. Happy weekend, and until next time, this is Kat signing off. See you soon.